I've also noticed if you go, we were in Arizona recently, you know, there was a big, big wall and it stopped. And so people could just go around it. But if you go to parts of the wall where, where it was there, you'd have the drug cartels actually cut through these really strong metal beams. And you have these guys with the backpacks and they scurry right in through the wall. And I'm just thinking to myself, how could a country let that happen? So we're gonna, we're gonna create adequate rules of engagement. If somebody were breaking into your house to do something bad, you would respond with force. Yet why don't we do that at the Southern border? So if the cartels are cutting through the border wall, trying to run product into this country, they're going to end up stone cold dead as a result of that bad decision. And if you do that one time, you are not going to see them mess with our wall ever again. You can sit here and talk about uh, all the different things with respect to illegal immigration, but if there's not an adequate sanction for coming illegally, you're going to still have people that want to come. If you can come get a sheet of paper with a court date to come back in two years uh, and stay in the interior of our country, of course people are going to do that. And so when people come illegally, the policy is you're apprehended and you're removed back to your home country. You should not be released into the interior of this country. And so, yeah, part of that will be remain in Mexico and having some of those policies with asylum claims. But part of it has got to be at the border, immediately repatriating and then having robust interior enforcement, such as not having uh, employment uh, for people that are here illegally. We are going to empower states and localities to enforce federal immigration law. Right now, they say, oh, only the federal government can do it. And that would be one thing to say if states were trying to undermine the law, and I think they can't do that, but there's laws on the books. The federal government is not following it. They are doing things like catch and release, which they don't have the authority to do. And yet you have a sheriff down here, or you have Texas wanting to step up uh, and do what needs to be done, and somehow they should be handicapped from that. I don't think so. I support the right of states and localities to enforce federal immigration law. As long as you're upholding the law and not trying to undermine the law, you're going to be able to do it and we are going to uh, support you. On the flip side of that, we are going to penalize sanctuary jurisdictions. If there's a national policy that, that immigration must be lawful and you have states and cities that are undermining that by saying they're not going to cooperate, that is totally unacceptable. And so we'll pull the levers at our disposal uh, to penalize jurisdictions uh, that do that. We also need to remove the incentives to come illegally to begin with. And that means employment. That means taxpayer finance benefit. It also means this idea that you can come across the border uh, two days later have a child, and somehow that's an American citizen. That was not the original understanding of the 14th Amendment. Um, and so we'll take action to force a clarification of that. Uh, but I think it's wrong that people would use our country for things like birth tourism. So we're going to be removing the incentives to come into this country illegally. Uh, and then finally, and maybe most importantly, uh, we are going to treat the Mexican drug cartels uh, as the threat that they are. Uh, they are responsible for coming into our country and killing tens of thousands of Americans. And yet the ruling class in D.C., both Republicans and Democrats through the years, have basically just shrugged their shoulders. And so the carnage continues to mount. Uh, we are going to be designating the cartels, either transnational criminal organizations or federal uh, foreign terrorist organizations. There's different legal things that come from each, but we're going to make sure we have an appropriate designation so that it unlocks our ability uh, to hold the cartels uh, accountable, uh, both in terms of finance, but also in terms of any direct action uh, that may be needed uh, to be able uh, to curtail and ultimately defeat the cartels. Part of that recognizes that with the current fentanyl trade, a lot of what's happening is these precursors are sent into Mexico, the cartels are creating the drug, and then they're moving the drug into the United States of America. We'll mobilize the Coast Guard and the Navy 
to interdict precursor chemicals. It's totally unacceptable that, they, that we would just simply allow that to happen, knowing the huge, huge death toll that's resulted uh, because of what the cartels are doing. So this is going to be a day one priority for us. There's many more things we're going to do. We'll talk more about that in the days, weeks, and months to come. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we are going to be the administration that finally brings the issue of our southern border to a conclusion. Uh, we will stop the invasion. We will reassert our nation's sovereignty. Uh, and we will fight these cartels uh, so that Americans stop dying from their poison.